Hey everyone, this is Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we are showing you the lineup of helmets from Klein. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. So today what we're gonna do is walk you through the lineup of helmets that we offer from Klein. Now I know for a lot of riders out there that when it comes to premium helmets, you know, Klein might not be the first name that comes to mind, but the fact is they make very high quality helmets. There's four different options to choose from when it comes to these guys. So today we're gonna go through, we'll talk about each one briefly, kind of cover some of the key features, what separates them. We'll talk about price point, talk about weight, all the, you know, the really important information that you're gonna need to know in order to make a decision as to which one of these might be best for you if a climb helmet is on your radar. But keep in mind, we have spotlights on these. So if you wanna learn all the ins and outs and see all the nitty gritty details, give those a watch and that's gonna help you out. But up on the table, you've got the F3, F3 Carbon, F5, F5 Choroid with MIPS. So to get this started, we've got the F3. So the F3 price point on this is gonna be right around $300. And here's what you're getting with this. You're DOT and ECE compliant. You've got a composite shell, size mediums, three pounds, two ounces. What I like about this helmet, super comfortable. The fit on all these for me is gonna be true to size. Remember, we have our fit guarantee. Doesn't matter what helmet you buy. If you don't like how it fits, send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. But you've got the Climatech liner on the inside, which is antimicrobial, super comfortable. And again, at three pounds, two ounces, it's not that heavy for a composite shell. And you have a really good venting design on this as well. You've got 16 intakes, so getting all that air coming in, excuse me, 13 intakes coming in, and you've got six exhaust vents in the back, so it's gonna do a good job when it comes to breathing. You've even got cutouts on the EPS liner to help get some of that more direct airflow to the rider's head. Now, moving on from the F3, you got the F3 Carbon. So the F3 Carbon jumps up $100 in price, so you're right around $400. And there's actually quite a few upgrades that you're getting with the F3 Carbons. First of all is the weight. This is by far the lightest helmet that I've weighed here at Rocky Mountain. And I've had my hands on pretty much every helmet that we offer. A size medium in the F3 Carbon comes in at two pounds, six ounces. And the way that they get this thing so light, it's a hand laid carbon fiber shell. And the way that they lay this carbon fiber, they're able to just minimize the amount of resin that is left over to help keep it as light as possible. So you've got the same venting design as the F3, but it's just gonna be super lightweight. But a couple other differences I do wanna point out. First of all, the F3 Carbon is only ECE certified. It's not DOT compliant. So if you live in the States, not a helmet that you're gonna to wanna to have if you're riding on the streets. And I'll give a brief explanation why they only did ECE on this and the F5. It's because the ECE certification, Clyde, I talked to these guys on the phone and they explained to me that they feel that the ECE is just as good as, if not better, than the DOT certification. The difference is though, is that with the way that ECE tests their helmets, it allows them to make the shell lighter. And that's why with the F3 and the F5, which we'll show you, they are so dang lightweight. So F3 Carbon, just gonna be ECE certified, keep that in mind. But on the inside, a couple other upgrades that you're getting, you have a triple density EPS liner, so you've got three different segments of the liner at different densities to help you know, protect the rider's head at different areas where you're more likely to have impacts. And then also what I like about this is you have their Fidlock system. So with the neck strap, so you can see right now it's done up. And when I pull on this thing, it is not coming undone. However, to undo this, all I gotta do is grab this red tab and just pull on it. And it comes undone that easily. You know, doing up a chin strap is not the end of the world, but especially when you have gloves on, it can be kind of a hassle sometimes. So I really do like their Fidlock system. And you do have some more cutouts in the EPS liner than you do with the F3 to get even more venting. So if you are looking for something super lightweight, very comfortable, again, very large eye port, F3 Carbon's a really good choice. Now moving on from there, you have the F5. Now the F5 is gonna be similar to the F3 in some ways, but different as well, and you are gonna jump up in price with the F5, now you're gonna be about $500. So with the F5, just like with the F3 Carbon, you're gonna have that carbon fiber hand laid shell. This is also just ECE certified, so keep that in mind. But it's also a very light helmet. This in a size medium comes in at two pounds, 11 ounces. So it is a little bit heavier than the F3 Carbon, but it's still a very, very lightweight helmet. But here's the big differences with the F5. So you've got the carbon fiber shell, but this now is gonna have even more venting than what you get with the F3 carbon. So you can see here, you're now gonna have 18 intakes in the front 
and you're going to have eight exhaust vents in the rear. So you're getting even more airflow coming through this. You'll also notice too, if we do a little side by side comparison here, you see how the F5 has those vents that are across the entire top of the helmet, not getting that with the F3 carbon. So if you're looking for the maximum amount of venting, then that's what the F5 was designed for. They also designed this to vent even at slower speeds. So if you're doing slow technical riding and you need that hot air to escape, that's really what they designed this to do. Some other upgrades that you're getting with the F5, got them right here. Now Climb, we all know, is also really known for their snowmobiling market as well. So with this, few extra items that you're getting. One, you're gonna get a nice helmet bag. With the F3 Carbon, you just get that cloth bag that we see with other helmets. With the F5, you're gonna get a nice premium helmet bag. You also get a breath box. So if you are gonna be using this, crossing over to some snow riding, you get a breath box that will come included. You also get this windproof headliner that actually snaps into the helmet. And what's great about that is that if you're using this helmet in colder conditions, snowmobiling, snow biking, or just riding in cold weather, you can put this in and it will essentially you know, if you want to call it this, shut off those vents directly to the rider's head to help keep you a little bit warmer. So those are the extra upgrades along with the venting that you're getting with the F5. Now to finish things off, we have the grand finale. This is the F5 Choroid with MIPS. Now the F5 Choroid is going to be the same design, same venting as the F5, but there's some key differences here that's going to help you out in deciding. Now size medium in this helmet's a little bit heavier. It's about three pounds, three ounces. And here's why. This helmet is ECE and DOT compliant. So if you like the F5, but you want to be DOT, go with the F5 core with MIPS. Now, aside from that, you're getting all the same accessories that I just talked about, but here's the key differences. The choroid material in the MIPS liner system. Now, choroid, you can actually see it right here on the inside. Now, with the F5, you got that triple density EPS liner, just like with the F3 carbon. The choroid material replaces a lot of the EPS liner on this version. And what's unique about choroid is that it's dual polymer welded tubes. And what's unique about these is one, they're lightweight, they're incredibly breathable, and they also do an, a great job of absorbing crushes or absorbing impacts. In fact, they say that Choroid does a much better job of absorbing impacts than just regular EPS liner does. Now with EPS, and here's why, with an EPS liner, as it starts to crush, the more it's crushed, the firmer it starts to get and the less it's gonna absorb that energy. With Choroid, it's pretty much, you know, pretty even all the way down till it's completely flat. So it doesn't get harder the more you crush it, so it gives a much more progressive impact absorption. That's one key benefit, and the other is the breathability. So with this, you see you've got that Choroid along the entire top of the helmet. Now, it might not seem like a big difference, but again, talking to the guys over at Climb, they said that with this version, there is a noticeable difference in the amount of heat and air that can get into the helmet, especially at those slower speeds or when you're stopped. You know, that's really what they love so much about that cord is the breathability along with that safety aspect. So you're getting that, and you're also getting the MIPS liner system. If you don't know what MIPS is, it stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. It is a feature that we see in a lot of premium helmets, and essentially what that is is a slip zone between the comfort liner and the EPS or that choroid. and that's just gonna help with your rotational energy management. There's a big emphasis on that. When riders go down, you know, you're moving front to back, side to side. So what you want essentially to happen is you want your head to be able to slip or rotate inside the helmet. Kind of think of like your brain, your cerebral spinal fluid. That's what that fluid is doing is help protecting your brain so your brain can kind of move freely inside the skull. That's what the MIPS liner system is basically essentially designed to do. So it's a great safety feature. Those are the key updates in that that you're not getting with the F5. And those are them. Those are the four different helmets that we have from Climb. Quick little recap. F3, great helmet, you're $300 or less, very comfortable, again, DOT ECE compliant. F3 Carbon, just ECE, crazy lightweight, very comfortable, good venting. F5, you're gonna get, again, super lightweight, but now you're getting some of the accessories extra that we talked about, better venting design even than the F3 Carbon. And then, again, the grand finale, F5 Choroid with MIPS, you're getting the Choroid material, great breathability, and the MIPS liner system. Questions or comments, leave those below. To pick any of these up that we talked about today, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you like this video, we got a lot more just like it, so make sure to get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. And lastly, if you have one of these helmets, want to hear your feedback, give us your thoughts. This can help other riders out who might be looking at these as their next lid. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.